selection. So let's talk about the selection for obviously island allegiances and the issues around that. What what happened through that process, and how did you how did you take it personally? You know, and how did it all work out? Right. So I'll tell you something that not a lot of people know. Right. So basically, how it all started out was I was running well in two thousand and thirteen. I went European juniors and I think it was 2014. I had a bit of a shallow year and then 2015, we were training again really well. And um, this is when I was on funding actually. And um, they said to keep your funding, all you've got to do is medal at Europeans. They sat me down. I was in a meeting, two of the head guys at British Athletics. They were like, we don't care about times because you're the only one that's going, Great Britain, to the Europeans for sprints, male. I was like, right, okay, like no pressure then. So they were like, yeah, if you want, like, if you keep your funding, just get us a medal, innit? All we care about is medals. They gotta make a quota. So anyway, I've gone there, heats, like it's fine. Semi-final, I'm running well, I'm running like really well. And I'm like, oh, let me just chill because it's gonna be like a bit of a close final. Yeah. And, I, and then in that, um, in the semi-final, I equaled my PB after I shut down like 60 meters to go. I think there's a video on YouTube of me just chilling, looking around. And I was mm. like, right, I'll save it for the final. And in the final, I think I ran the same time as the semi. I got beat, but I finished second. Then it was either just like, you could have run well in your semi and then you could have been messed up for the final or mm. save it and then whatever. But um, anyway, got back to the UK. They sat me down. They were like, yeah, cool. Well done, smashed it. Got a medal, that's all we wanted from you. Like, don't change anything. You're running well. Um, hopefully, you can qualify for the world championship. So I ran 20.6, but the, at the time, the qualifying was 20.5. Mm. And, um, right. and then um, I was like, oh, I can't. But I um, didn't end up qualifying for the Worlds. And then in like, October, whatever, they sat me down again. They were like, oh, yeah, you're not on funding next year. I was like, oh. what? I was like, but all you said I needed to do is get a medal. Yeah, no, we don't want medals. We want times. Wow. That's... And then from then, but like, you'll be surprised how many senior athletes, if you guys speak to, are like, they'll say now how many, how many interviews or meetings that they had they wish they recorded as proof. Because yeah. I guarantee you they'll put so many down that they just wish they recorded conversations. So those meetings, I'm did you always surprised. go on your own? Oh, I'm sorry? Did you always go on your own to those meetings or were you always, did you always have someone there with you? No, nah, it was, it was more, it's not like a meeting, like, oh, sit down, let's talk, let's get all this. It was like, it was like a casual chat, but they've got like all the files, all the paperwork down on you. They're like, how many times you've been physio, what your graph is doing, everything, all of that. And they were like, yeah, you're like leveling off. You can either go up or down. And they were just like, but like, I've gone in the next day and he said, I'm secure. <laughs> like, oh. And then they were just like, Nah, you ain't on. And so, how did you react to that? You said this is 2013, right? No, uh, no. This is 2015, yeah. This is after European under 23. Right. Yeah. How, how disheartening was it to hear that? Or did it just drive you to do more? To be like, well, you know what? Cool. That's how you're going to do me. Well, I'm going to show you that this is why I should have been on funding. Yeah. It was pretty much that. And then, well, we went to, we were going for Rio 2016. I went to the USA and there was something in their food which just messed me up. All my tendons were finished. Mm. Like when you, because obviously when you're like, you're 18, you haven't got, you've got money, but you ain't got that much money. I mean, so you've got, mm. you got like yeah. spending money in it, whatever. Yeah. I, just, I was staying at my aunties and I'm, it was like, like I could either stay home, prep food, cook, or go Texas wings that are unlimited wings for $8. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> I know what I'm picking. There you go. So this is what we were doing quite a lot. But obviously at the time, you don't really know like what they're putting into their food or whatever. So I grew like um, three quarters of an inch. All my tenders, like it was, I, it could, I couldn't run because I was just mm. growing. And I did, we didn't know what was going on. But obviously now looking back, it's easy to see that it was the food. Yeah, it just messed up my whole 2016 season, and then from then it was like, forget British athletics, man. I was like, I'm not fighting 
for you lot after I've done so much after the past like five six years I've been at every relay meeting every camp every everything did what they wanted you to do like you did exactly what they asked you to do that's it there's nobody you can ask for so 2017 and world champs yeah that was um, yeah 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 and I qualified I finished third at the nationals for Britain yeah and I ran 20.38 or 36, maybe. I'm not sure. And um, I finished third behind Adam and Nathaniel. Mm. And then um, literally from them, we were just like, get the paperwork done. And then it was literally just like, I feel like we missed, because they didn't tell anyone there was going to be a lock-off for the Allegiant switch. It was just yeah. one, one day they just did it. And... um. I think we handed in the paperwork like on the day that they did it and they were like, nah, we can't accept it. And then from then I had to wait like, it might've been just a year maybe because it wasn't an official mm. ban. But because I hadn't competed for GB since 2015, European yeah. 23, my three yeah. years had been done. So I was able to switch. See, that's a blessing in disguise. Yeah. Your whole America ordeal was definitely a blessing in disguise. Yeah. Had that happened, we wouldn't be able to call you Irish. Um, I, um, <laughs> Ireland fastest <laughs> man. Yeah, well, there you go. Well, yeah, Irish fastest man. I can still use that, but it's not correct. Yeah. Grammatically. But yeah. Um, so how did was... you get approached by Ireland or was it, or did you have to do that yourself? No, well, um, we did it as I was. It was me and my coach. It was my coach's idea because he's Welsh, isn't it? So mm. he was like, at this time, I was still running for Northern Ireland. And they were like, if you run for yeah. Northern Ireland, you can get a passport for Ireland. Because I'm actually, yeah. I'm, you guys might be able to help me out with this. So I'm, my mum is full Irish. Mm. So that, I guess that makes me half. And my mum is, um, sorry, my mum's full Irish. And my dad yeah. is half English, half Jamaican. So like <laughs> half and a quarter and a quarter or something like that. <laughs> Yeah. So Something you're more like Irish that. then, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm more I'm more Irish than I'm English. That's I'm weird. I'm a firm but I'm a firm believer of, you know, if you have the opportunity to go and run for another country because this country hasn't treated you well, go for it. Yeah. Go for it. Because I mean, there's been so many times where you know certain people are, are deserving of funding and places for individual spots and they go give it to someone else. So, you know, if you're not going to get the recognition from who you're trying to get it from and someone else is giving you opportunity, why not? Yeah, for real. Mm -hmm. like, even like for International, GB never selected me for any of the individuals. Ever. Really? Really? for International? Yeah. yeah. So I never got the first GB kit where everyone else did. And um, I always ran faster on the day than the person they selected. Ah, uh, that's like full on agenda, isn't it? <laughs> See, that again is where I just walk past and be like, <laughs> "Wow, well, that's pretty much what I did at Europeans in Berlin." So obviously, I made the final, semi-final. I went toe to toe mm. with the world champion, mm. and I, we were like looking at each other, and I was like, "Yeah." And then he had to speed up, and he dipped me on the line. And then after that, there were people from British Athletics, and it was it was quite funny actually. And um, like. Some of like the top guys in British athletics, they were like, "Oh, um, oh, well done! You're in the final." Da, 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 da. Mm. And you could tell they're a little bit pissed because I've just gone toe to toe with the world champion. And you, like, know, you know, when you're just like, "Don't speak to me. We're not friends." <laughs> well, literally, me and my coach are just like, "Yeah, what are you saying now? What are you saying now?" <laughs> it happened at the Commonwealth Games as well. So obviously, I got the bronze after. Yeah. Um, Congratulations. I was qualified. Thanks, man. And um. Literally warming down, and obviously I, I used to run for England when I was younger, so I know yeah. all the staff. We all like Loughborough, whatever you know, all the staff. And then I'm, I was like jogging past, warming down and stuff, and then they were all like clapping, like yeah, like come on, like well done and stuff. Because I've known them for mm. for years, and they don't get involved in all the political stuff. So all the people that were like genuinely happy were like genuinely happy. Do you know what I mean? They were just like yeah. coming out on the track, and they were like come here, like hugging me and stuff. They were, like they kept me together all those years. But you'd never get that. Does, does, the, does it change much in terms of who works for England Athletics and who works for British Athletics? Is it like a completely really? different team or is it they're quite similar but you just have 
a certain amount yeah, of people who work for quite, one particular. They're quite similar, but I feel like um, some people can pick who they want to work with. So if like five athletes want to work with one physio, they'll bring out that physio. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you kind of have a choice of who you want to work with. Yeah. 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 